thank you for being wonderful once again tonight. We thank you for being faithful once again tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will remain. You are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. You are above all authority. For all authority comes from you. Heavenly Father, tonight once again in Dobsonville, Soweto, we surrender our hearts to you. We surrender our soul to you. We know that we belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. You're the beginning, and indeed you are the end. Yes, Lord. You are the first, and indeed you are the last. Hallelujah. Father, yes, when we Lord. began, we began with you. Hey, my and therefore, God. when we end, we will end with you. Amen. You yes, are Lord. our source. You Thank are you, our Jesus. originator. Yes, you are the very being of our lives. The Apostle Paul speaks about you. He says, in him we live. In him we move. And we have our peace. You are the very life that we live. He said, for it's no longer I that is living. Hey. But Christ is living in you. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, take over tonight. Yes, Lord. Take over your people. For they did not come to meet a man, Thank but they came to meet with you. Jehovah, you said it shall come to pass that in that day, those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes, Lord. Say South Africa. South Africa will be saved. Will be saved. Say South Africa. South Africa will be saved. Will be saved. Say South Africa. South Africa will be saved. Will be saved. So they asked Jesus, who sinned for this man to become like this? And Jesus answered them. He said, no one has seen. But this one was born in this way so that the power of God hey. may be manifest. Hey, Jesus. Hallelujah. In other words, he has made the impediment, the, in, the, the, the infirmity, the infirmity to become a heavenly responsibility. Amen. So he was born blind as an opportunity for heaven to show forth. My God, my God. So Jesus said, Nobody seen. But these ones are born this way for the manifestation of the power of God. So this tells us there are situations. That are opportunities of heaven. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There are circumstances that arise not because of a problem, just because heaven is looking for an opportunity. Amen. 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 When God is looking for an opportunity, He allows chaos to happen. Yes. So that Cosmo can come. Hey. That is why the transition from the land of slavery to the promised land he had to make it harder not because Pharaoh is powerful so that he shows his power in the cross hey hallelujah thank you father thank you lord we have a god who set circumstances in order to rise above. Jesus. So the Bible says he told Moses. 
Moses. Do not be surprised. I will make the heart of Pharaoh hey. to be hard. Hey. Not because he's a strong man. So. But I want to show the nations of the world my glory in Israel. He made circumstances in order to rise above. It might look like others, but this one is different. Why is it different? Because it's carried by a different vessel. What makes the sickness to be different? It's not because it is not HIV like everybody has. Sure, 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 sure. But the reason it is now special is because of the vessel that carries it. Sure, 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 sure. That is why My God. in the letter, Martha and Mary, they didn't write, our brother is sick, come and heal him. They didn't write, Master, you have healed others. Remember our brother, because we cook for you, come and heal him. The Bible says they waited their letter in the most accurate way. So in other words, they prayed their prayer in an accurate way. They said, Lord, the one you love is sick. My God. Jesus. Not, not another one. But the one that we know that you love. So this one is sin. So they wrote it to actually demonstrate the relationship of Jesus with the one who carried the sickness. So, 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 so. So the sickness was not carried by an ordinary man but it was carried by the one that he loves sometimes we think difficult matters are given to ordinary people but they are given to the one that he loves That is why every time I've read the Bible and it says many are the affliction of the righteous but the Lord will rescue me unto them all not of the sinner but of the righteous these afflictions are not trusted to sinners but they are trusted because only the righteous can give God the glory. Hey! Jesus! Israel, whether you like it or not, I know you rejected us, but we refuse to stay where you have placed us. We will not remain in the same position. We are going towards the enemy. We will die moving forward.
God. Because of the family. It's like everybody is pushing against you. Everybody is fighting. So, he's in a situation like the blind Bartholomew. Toiling hard. But still, a lot of opposition. Nobody believes in him in the house. Everybody says whatever. But I'm here to say, I saw the light of the Lord upon your head. Mighty the Moses Christ. The mighty the Moses Christ. Ever that is moving on top of the roof in your house, he said, right now, I'm about to kill it. Right now. Every 12 o'clock, exactly, it's breaking right now in Jesus' name. It's happening right now. The Lord is about to open. But the Lord says to me, I must tell you right now that I'm breaking the curse in your family and I'm visiting you even in the area of work. I'm about to change things around because the enemy has tried to push you even into depression so that you even think that living is no longer making sense anymore. But now I'm launching you to another level and you will see that I will answer you and things will become different from today in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Do you love children? Do you love children? Do you love children? Your pain has been one that I'm comforting everybody. But who's going to comfort me? I'm praying for everybody. But who's going to comfort me, Lord? Because you have experienced the pain. You have experienced the toil, the abuse, everything that you have been going through and praying for. Even in the family, you have experienced it. And you've been very, very, very frustrated of the things that happen. But you always try to appear strong. You are appearing strong for the sake of the others. God says, wait, wait, wait. I'm in this season going to do something in your life. Even for the child that has been troubling you. For the child that has been troubling you. The Lord says, I'm going to do something. There is an anointing that is working right now in your life. And after this crusade, after this revival, testimonies are coming, even in your household. Testimonies are coming, even in your house. You will see the hand of the Lord. You will see the armor of the God Almighty. And the Lord says right now, that money that was caged is coming to you right now. God is giving it to you right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You have been suffering. Yet, yet you have been the hope of others. Yet you have been helping everyone. God says, I've been forgotten. It's done for you. You believe that God can do it for you. It is done for you. It's working for your life. Hallelujah. It's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. It's working. Not forgotten. And the Lord says to me, I have to just give you this one word and say to you, the grave is closed. The grave is closed. Yes, Lord. And destiny is open. Thank you, Jesus. What the enemy planned now is cancelled. Has now opened a door for destiny that can never be closed. So it is well, it is done. 
You are not going to die. You are dead. 